Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel today. Now, as one of my fellow YouTubers that I watch once said, the future moves forward and if you don't go with it, you get left behind. So, therefore, in that case, I am doing a video that is inspired by a lot of other YouTubers that I see online. In theory, I don't normally do these type of videos. Now, I have done the Taste Test Tuesday videos, but today's video, I'm doing a mukbang. So, let me show you what I got. I went to McDonald's and I got the Happy Meal. But no, they cheated me because everybody else that I've been seeing that's doing these videos online, they get a Happy Meal box, just like a kid's meal. They just gave me a brown, an old paper, brown paper bag, just like a regular paper bag. And I was quite shocked when I got up to the, well, I mean, actually when I ordered it and the girl told me how much, it was $12, y'all. Oh, man, that about blew me away. I was not expecting that. I figured it would be anywhere from 3 to $5. I know that people have been saying that the food in it is regular size. It's not kid's size, like when a kid's Happy Meal. But I still was not expecting no $12. I mean, they could have said even 6 or 7 and I've been okay with it. Because it's basically just a, a, a regular meal. And so I got a uh, Coke to drink. And I ordered the nuggets because I don't get burgers from McDonald's. I don't care for their burgers. I got the, the regular size fries that come with it. I'm dropping them all over the place. Now, McDonald's fries are always good. I give them that. And then I got a toy that comes with it. Napkins for messy eaters. I always open the napkins and put them on my steering wheel. I can't hardly wipe with a flat napkin. I have to have them kind of crush it up. Not even able to get that open. Yeah. Okay. I'm sitting in the sun coming in on me. So I got the chicken nugget, y'all. The 10 piece nugget. Oh, don't those look good? I do like McDonald's nuggets. I've tried the nuggets from Burger King. They ain't buzzing. Let me tell y'all, they are not buzzing. And for my sauce, I ordered sweet and sour. So we got a little bit of sweet and sour in sauce. Ooh, about to spill it. And I'm gonna throw this down in here. Y'all, the fries are a little cold. And I just got this this short of us. So there ain't, there ain't no reason for my fries to be cold. So let me have a little bit of a nugget and then I'll see what my toy I got a toy. I'm out today running errands, and since I knew I was going to get to McDonald's Happy Meal, I figured I'd go ahead and do that before I go to the grocery store. They say don't shop on empty stomach, so that's what I was doing. But before that, I went to the post office to mail some bills and check my P.O. box. I got my notice 
that my P.O. box is going to be closed in the end of this month, which I knew it was. That's why I opened up the other one. $156 for a year. That's why I told you that one that I got and I paid $65 for a year. Quite a bit of difference, isn't it? Almost saving me almost $100. But I want to tell you, the lady at the post office, she got kind of snippy with me. Now, if any of you out there work at a post office, you can maybe explain this to me in a better way. But anytime I get mail in my box that don't belong to me, I always take an ink pen and I put on there, not in this box, please forward. And I make an arrow point to the address. Because if I just take it out of my box and put it back in the drop mail slot they put it back in my box again i know because i've tried that so i was up there at the counter getting my stamps and i took one of their ink pens and i wrote that on there and she goes please don't write on the mail and i go well it's not from my box she goes well still please don't write on it i said well what am i supposed to do with it she said you can just hand it to us and say this is not mine well if i hand it to them and say this is not mine and they take it out of my hand and lay it aside they're going to put it right back in my box. And the reason I know is because I have dropped mail in the box without writing anything on it. And the very next day when I go in there, it's back in my box. So any of you out there that work at the post office, maybe you could explain to me how to return mail in your post office box that don't belong to you without writing on it. Because they write on our mail all the time. I had a letter in my mailbox one time where they wrote on their loose dog. They stopped delivering my mail for like three days. Then when they finally did, they put a letter in there that said loose dog. Well, it wasn't my dog running around loose. And I understand that the post office doesn't know whose dog it is. But why were they punishing me by not delivering my mail because somebody else's dog was running? Yeah, it probably was up by my mailbox and they were afraid they were going to get bit. That just goes to show you, they write on the mail all the time. So, no big deal. Anyhow, I do have another dental appointment this month. I'm excited for it. Cactus Plant Flea Market. Where's a cactus plant flea market? All right, let's see what we got. You know, a long time ago, um, me and my mama used to collect the McDonald's Happy Meals. This is when they gave you the good toys. They were real toys, plastic with cars with wheels that moved and really good stuff. Me and my mama collected them. I got a McDonald's dude of sorts. Does he got four eyeballs? What is that? I don't know. It's cute. It's really heavy. It's solid plastic. It's a cute toy. Probably end up giving it to the dogs and they'll probably destroy it. Because <laughs> I don't have any children to give it to. So anyway, I'm going to Walmart to get the rest of my groceries. I went in Dollar General and I picked up uh, some uh, manila envelopes and um, I found a dish towel in there with chickens on it, y'all, for a dollar. So I got that. <coughs> I'm going to go ahead and end this because I don't want y'all to have to sit here the whole video and watch me eat. I have trouble eating because I don't have any chewing teeth. I have to chew everything in the front of my cutting teeth and it takes me a really long time. And I know y'all probably don't want to sit here and watch me eat forever. So I'll just say thank you so much for joining me on this video. This is my very first mukbang ever, y'all. McDonald's mukbang. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Y'all come back and see us any on time. Thanks for stopping by. Bye.